All right, welcome back. Santa Barbara's Juneteenth Festival is coming up on June 15th and a local artist and producer is set to perform. We're joined by Santa Barbara native and musician Brandon Kelly, also known as Brayel, to share his story with us. Good morning and thanks for waking up with us. Good morning, thank you guys for having me. Of course, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got to where you're at today, the early days and the journey of how it all got started and how you are now just traveling and doing all these wonderful things through your music. Right, right. Um, so I was born here in Santa Barbara, California I um, was born in a musical household, so I was introduced to a wide range of, of musical genres growing up. And, you know, with Santa Barbara having such a vibrant arts community, it was something that really nurtured my passion at a young age. So it encouraged me to hone in on my craft and just continue down this path. And, you know, I've been fortunate enough to grace some amazing stages all the way from Europe, across the U.S., and American Idol. So. Here we are today, still doing it. Oh, yeah. It's incredible. Um, Braille, you've been described as a musical chameleon. <laughs> when you hear that, what do you think? Mm. Um, I think about all the influences that I've had growing up. Like I said, growing up in a musical household, I would wake up and it'd be such a, just, just a wide range of, of things that my family was listening to. Classic rock, um, old soul music, and all of that really played a big part in you know, allowing me to develop a style that was unique to me. That's incredible. And you, you perform in so many different places, mm -hmm. but you still are pretty active in the local music scene as well. So why don't you tell us a little bit about what's on deck for this Juneteenth Festival? You are set to perform for this on this Saturday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that's going to take place in the Funk Zone. We go on at noon. And over the past few months, I've been compiling a band of just some of the most absolute amazing musicians in the local area. So we're really excited to share that with you. There's going to be great food and two other bands will be performing as well. Yeah, it sounds like so much fun. Definitely. All right, a little nerdy music question for you. Mm -hmm. When you bounce your tracks, mm -hmm. who do you go to for feedback or is that all just you keep it to your car and your headphones and then you <laughs> go back in and keep working? Yeah, it's, it's definitely a process. I'll, I'll start with the car, the headphones, and then I start getting a little neurotic and I have a guy overseas <laughs> in Canada that I'll, I'll share my ideas with and he's also my mixing engineer. Mm. So he's, it's, it's very helpful to have a second pair of ears on that and mm. then from there then I feel like it's ready to release to the world. Yeah. yeah. That's awesome. I mean, we were listening to a little bit of your music earlier mm. on just so we can get a sense of your vibe and it just sounds, it sounds like a lot of fun. And mm. talking a little bit more about the local scene here and now. So you travel so many different places and you perform on so many different stages. What is it like coming back home and mm. performing here in a community that you grew up in? Yeah, it's, it's, it's always very meaningful for me. Mm. It's, it's the place where my musical journey started. So. Mm. Um, I'm always grateful for the opportunity to, to give back to the community that's mm -hmm. supported me for so many years. That sounds amazing. And do you want to tell us a little bit about where people can find you? Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm everywhere, all over the internet. You can find me all over at Braille Music, and that's my handle for all social medias. All right, sounds like a lot of fun, and have a lot of fun on Saturday as well. We'll have tickets and more information about the Juneteenth Festival on our mobile app and website. Brandon Braille, thank you again for being here. Yeah, thank you guys again. Appreciate it.